Wondering how to find the perfect Airbnb? Try these eight steps. First, plan ahead. If you want to be comfortable, you need to plan ahead so that you have first pick of the Airbnbs in an area. If you wait until the last minute, you won't have as many homes to choose from because if someone books just one day in the middle of your desired stay, you'll either have to temporarily move elsewhere or you'll just have to stay somewhere else entirely. Planning three to six months in advance can help you get the best homes for the dates that you are looking for. Second, consider a long-term stay. Whenever possible, stay at least 28 days so that you can get a better monthly rate. A stay of 30 days or longer may even qualify for reduced taxes and fees. Third, define your priorities. The first step to finding an Airbnb that you'll love to live in is defining what is non-negotiable to you. My non-negotiables include fast internet, because I have to have it for my job, a comfortable bed that is at least queen size, because if I don't get sleep, everybody's gonna have a bad time, independent temperature control for the bedroom, and a washing machine in the unit. I also only consider Airbnbs where I'm renting the entire place, not a room or a shared space, because that's really awkward to me. Once you know what you can't negotiate on, you'll have an easier time narrowing down the listings to find the perfect Airbnb for you. Fourth, conduct a search using the advanced tools. Use your non-negotiable priorities to set the filters to make sure that you only consider homes with your desired amenities. You don't want to accidentally book a home that doesn't meet all of your non-negotiable requirements. Fifth, analyze the photos carefully. It's also important to look through the photos carefully. Pay close attention to the kitchens and the bathrooms, as I've noticed that some Airbnb hosts do crazy things in these spaces. Try your best to piece the floor plan together through the photos and pay attention to deceptive photos that are taken from odd angles. Many hosts will also take photos of the same room from different angles and with different lighting, which creates an illusion of more space and makes it appear that the home is larger than it actually is. Being critical while evaluating the photos in your listing can save you from making costly mistakes. And when in doubt, ask questions. Ask your host about the size, square footage, and the layout of the home. Sixth, read the description carefully. Be sure to read each description carefully as it may have details that surprise you. For example, we once booked a home in New Orleans that claimed to be a five bedroom, three bath home. We didn't read the description carefully enough, so we didn't realize that the home we were renting was actually split into two units, with three bedrooms in one unit and two in the other. Each side was only accessible through exterior doors, so there was no go-between. And since we had very young children who couldn't be left alone, we ended up only using the larger unit, which really cut into our space. Because Airbnb has strict cancellation policies, you can't afford to make these kinds of mistakes. You must read the description very thoroughly. It helps to have a friend or a traveling partner who reads through it as well to see if they can catch anything that you may have missed. Seventh, read the reviews and look for red flags. Reviews are powerful, and I always trust the bad ones more than the good ones. A bad review will give you much more information than a positive one usually. It has been my unfortunate experience that many hosts embellish their listings and some outright lie in them. Negative reviews often correct these mistruths and it can help you learn from others' mistakes. Specifically, I always watch for notes about the cleanliness of the home and the communication with the host. Those are of paramount importance to me. Details about the layout of the home, the amenities, and the location are also very useful and frequently found in the reviews. If you see something that concerns you while you're reading the reviews, you can always ask for clarification from the host. But remember, the host has a financial interest in convincing you to book the property and the reviewer does not. Eighth, never book immediately. Always contact the host first. One of the most helpful tips I've learned about Airbnb is to always, 
Always, always, always contact the host and confirm the most important details in the listing before you book the property. Chatting with the host first will help you figure out a few important things, including do they respond quickly? Are they easy to communicate with? Do they seem knowledgeable about the property? What can they tell you about the area? Do they show concern for the quality of your stay? I found several wonderful Airbnbs with terrible hosts, and we've definitely dodged a few disasters by talking to the hosts before we book. During a recent conversation with a host in North Idaho, we were surprised to find that the host tried to convince us to book off-platform and behaved in many other unethical ways. We decided not to book that home, and I'm glad we learned about the host's character before we were locked into staying at their property. To save time when contacting the hosts, it helps to create a template email that you can send. This template should cover the four W's, who you are, when you want to visit, what you love about their home, and why you're contacting them first. This why could be as simple as wanting to confirm the details of the property or the stay. Maybe you want to negotiate a mid-state cleaning if you're looking at a longer term stay, or maybe you're attempting to negotiate a lower rate. Any of these are valid reasons to reach out to the host before you book. How do you find the perfect Airbnb? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.